Hi everyone, so Paula here. So I wanted to share the book. Um, it's finally completed and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, lots and lots of, goodies, lots and lots of goodies in there. Um, okay, so this is made out of uh, paper and chipboard and I will have the link where um, I got the tutorial from and the person who does the tutorial, she does them in Spanish, but she does write there um, the the cuts, the measurements and stuff so that, you know, and she, you can visually see it. So if you're a visual, visual learner, you'll be able to follow along. And she's also quite quick to answer questions. Not sure if she answers in English or not, um, but she did answer back to me how it was in Spanish. So, uh, but you can always use Google Translate. There you go. Uh, okay, so uh, here we go. My album, it's finished, yay. And I don't have my camera, as you can see, I'm using my iPhone, so please excuse that. Um, so if we get that together. So the paper that I used is from Illustrated Faith and um, it's really cool paper and I used also the die cuts. I like to buy the paper packs, you know, because it has all the stickers and pocket cards and anything else. Uh, everything I need is in this paper collection, however, you know me, I always like to buy the little extras too. Um, so, and there was also something else that was really cool about this paper pack is that I've never seen it before. This is the first time I've seen it where, um, you have your front cover here and you can always utilize this right here and even these little um, uh, examples here you can put them in your album however I've never used seen the back um, with uh, with a design paper it's late in the day I'm so lost for words so illustrated faith on the back of this one they give you one extra sheet of paper a, a totally different design so, and I've never seen that, and that is really cool. Nice surprise. Thank you very much, Illustrated Faith. And I hope other uh, companies will pick up on that and uh, note that that is real estate for more paper for us scrappers. Okay, so here we go, the front of the book. So I left this uh, blank. I used my die cuts to cut these shapes, and um, I left this blank so she could put a picture on there if she wanted to. And the brad, I'm not sure where it's from. And I use cording that I just bought at Michael's to, so that it would hold it together. The stickers here I put on uh, chipboard and I glued them. As you can see, my fussy cutting is really bad. So I put a little bit of bedazzle there to distract away from my horrible cutting. Um, and then I'm using one hand here. So, And then here's the spine. Uh, and my bow that I made with my third bow maker. This one I won't lose because I'm going to tape it. And then this is the first time I ever have ever done an album with strings. And I did some looping there. Um, I'll take in here. And what I'm going to do next time is I'll probably put, I will put actually beads, little beads around the loops because it, to me it's just unfinished. But I put a whole bunch of cute little charms there for her to look at. And then let's open her up inside okay so here is the first the front cover and the front cover has two pockets and then on this pocket too I put I this uh, pocket card I put a little stamping up uh, paper clip they're so cute now what's really cool about this album is I love the way she the designer created this album because it's really sturdy um, she really made it durable there's only one thing that I would try to change and I'll show you along the way um, so if anybody tries it, let me know if it works before I drew it. <laughs> okay, and then you open up this little side right here, and you get another little pocket there, and I used the stickers from the paper pack for the trimming. I put another pocket here. I use, um, I also bought uh, the extra, the die cuts, and I just glued them onto here. And I made a tag and put an eyelet on it, and some more paper um, pocket cards that I cut from the paper pack. And what was nice about the pocket cards is that they did it so that it was the back on lined paper and so they're whimsical lines so you can journal. That's kind of cool. This envelope here I made with the We Are Memory Keepers and I did a magnet rather than a slip here as the designer showed you. Um, and then on the back I just put some stickers. I'm still debating whether or not to put a pocket like Rolling Hills here. And then the pockets here are slide. They're not, they don't have a lot of room to give, um, so I think that if you had glued it here, 
it would be really tight so that's probably why she left it open here and then I got um, this cut at the silhouette store it reminds me of those uh, social tea cookies <clears throat> yeah yummy that's why I put the ice cream there yummy yummy and then again on the back that whimsical paper comes in blue and white it's so cute and here is the paper is it in this page yep this is it so here's the paper that was on the back of this cover right here and it's in black and white and so I was really happy that I got some extra paper Yay! and I took a pocket card and I just flapped it up put the flap over there and then I also have some tabs that I purchased well they, they also get tabs in the sticker collection too so um, this was one of them actually and this was from a uh, the little Firma packs that you buy, the die cuts. And then inside is the pocket cards that I cut from the paper pack and some paper there. And this is also from the uh, one of the packs I purchased from Illustrated Faith. And what's really cute about them is, well, not only is there a robot on there, and you guys know I love robots. Crazy gaga for robots. See, I'm not symbols about you. But on the back of every single die cut there is scripture on the back that you can refer to so um if you want to and like uh, if you're doing a scrapbook layout or uh, like for me this is a gift you know if there's a message or a meaning or something you know you can use one of these die cuts and it means something so you know kind of cool hope you understand that so what does this mean here why did i choose this well i chose it a because it's a robot <laughs> of course duh and then uh, Matthew 6.34, it was just perfect, it was fitting, because Matthew 6.34 is, um, don't worry about tomorrow, you know, you have enough today, and, um, and it's so true when, when you're suffering, whether it's physical, mental, um, anything that you, you know that you're struggling with, everybody struggles differently, you know, don't think about, um, don't worry about it, don't worry about the what ifs, try to enjoy the todays, and those, even those minutes, that come um, just bask in that and uh, don't worry about tomorrow there's something you can do about it you know it's gonna come it's gonna happen and uh, yeah just focus on the today's on today not easy I know I know you're all screaming at me but we gotta try okay so this is a die cut I really like this die cut here from the silhouette store and um, this was a fluke cut and it all lined up perfectly. Kee -hee. And some whimsical paper there. And I did all the pockets differently. Some I did a fake fold over and some I just left and then just inked. And then in here is a pocket and a tag that I cut up. And my youngest was helping me uh, do the, eye, the eye, eyelets, right? Eyelets, yes. <sighs> he loves the crop down now. Yay. Okay. And then uh, the center page, cool page here. So and the die cut again from Silhouette Store. This on the back. This die cut is from Lala Landcrafts, and I'm just leaving this here so she knows what size picture to put in here. And you see how I did it differently there. And then I put the sticker. And then this is another cut from the Silhouette Store, so she has more real estate to put more pictures, yummy yummy, and die cuts, and a little bit of bling. Key, you have to have a little bit of bling. I don't know her, I've never met her, so I don't know her personality, so I had to like, what do I do? So I just kept it low key, kind of. But I, I know her story, I know her mom. So, um, and here's another giant tag. See, it's giant. And I didn't even use a ruler or a die cut machine, I made it another pocket and then you get to the yummy paper love this yummy paper and you can't see my boo-boo because I covered it up and this flap here I put a dimensional underneath I didn't want it to be loose because over time it's just gonna get folded here or left right and center so it's gonna bust um, so I put a dimensional so that it would have a little bit of gap to like it would look dimensional right popping out at you um, another tag there so she could do whatever she like and then um, I don't know where that's from if you know let me know <laughs> a paper clip paper clip I think I just bought them at Michael's you know in those bins they always yeah you, you gotta look in the bins you never know what you're gonna find and I just I love this paper 
I bought so much of this paper that I have enough to make two more albums and I'm making one for myself and if anybody would like the second one let me know and I will make it for you um, and we'll sell them. I do plan on making albums and selling them. I do have some albums to sell actually and all of the proceeds will be going to um, the food bank. So there you have it. And here is another pocket. Yay. And then this page right here, this paper I thought was just oh, really nice. It would be great to see Illustrated Faith come uh, downsize, right? So six by six paper pad, that would be great. I would love to see that. Not just 12 by 12, but six by six. And if, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it is out there, I don't know, but um, I would love, because this paper is really awesome. Um, and I love the butterfly paper. And not only just butterflies, but there's also words all over the place too, so really cool pockets and some more die cuts that I glued here paper clip from Stampin Up and pocket card that I cut there from the paper pack another Scotia tea cookie I know you're all thinking I'm crazy it's okay I'm just waiting for you okay so here's uh, another one I did with a little Stampin Up uh, look at that isn't that cute they're so sweet and they're really thin and tiny so perfect they don't they're not heavy and but really cute, I like them. And this right here is, you know, you see people put uh, little place mats, placeholders or something, you know, so you can insert stuff. I don't know what their technical name is, it's a thingamabob. Well, the thingamabobs are usually just loose and over time they're gonna get um, folded and then the paper will break and tear. Um, so what I did is um, I put clear glossy accent on top here and then it's nice and durable so i don't know if you can see the machine maybe yeah you can see it there my messy job my old lady vision and i put some stickers right here really cool now what was nice about this album was that it was an album for pictures you know lots of royalty here and uh for space and stuff but it's also she created with a journal Cool, cool, cool. Before I go over that, um, before I forget, now in the back of the spine here, she put uh, eyelets to reinforce. Now, what I would do differently is on each and every single page, I'm um, trying to figure out a way how to reinforce it. I'm thinking if I can use an eyelet. So next time, I'm going to try putting an eyelet on each page, just so because it's going to wear and tear on the pages too. So, um, but it is it is really sturdy album. Okay, so the the journal so it all goes together right so the journal um, she created a pocket right here so you could slip the journal right in and the trick was finding a journal that would fit within her measurements um, so I had to use a moleskin and um, I have a whole bunch of these but I had to cut it in the back because the, it was too long the cover to fit the width of the pocket so I cut in the back and then I just glued on some of the paper that I had left over. And I decorated the front a little bit. On the heart, I put some clear glossy accent just so there's some texture. I love texture. On the inside here, I just kept it simple. I might put some trimming here. I do um, Because I'm looking at it now and it doesn't look quite finished, does it? And then there's a pocket card and on the pocket card is an illustrated faithful. Look at how cute that is. That's so sweet. And then I put, uh, this is not easy with one hand. No, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> okay, um, so I put uh, this this band right here and I put the sticker, it's actually a sticker and I put it on chipboard just to make it more durable. And um, just slip the picture or whatever, she wants a little note. And then of course if I had two hands, I could show you that it would, oh look, I did it with one hand, yes! Okay, so <laughs> it's not even, but Oh, there's that OCD kicking in and so there is the album um, that I created from this amazing new uh, scrapbook or creative person scrapbooking I guess it's scrapbooking designing album designer her go to visit her uh, YouTube she also has a Facebook I'll put the link there too um, as I said, she does do her tutorials in Spanish, but her stuff is really uh, fresh. It's very creative. Uh, it's really nice. Really nice. 
So I'm looking forward to doing another, oops, another album of hers, a couple actually. And um, uh, yeah, so you gotta go finish it. Oh, in the back, you're wondering why, Paula, did you leave a blank? Well, because look at all those lines. How can you write on that? Sometimes you just gotta leave it alone. So that's why I didn't touch it. And uh, there is my album. So I hope you like it. If you did, I uh, hope you give it a like and uh, check out uh, her YouTube channel or her Facebook page. And um, until the next album, I'm working on it. It's a big one here. Let me see if I can go around here to my mess here. So, oh, there's the other album right here that is going to go up for sale. And I'm in the middle of making some little prayer boxes too. There's another desk uh, album right here that I am creating and then the mother of all albums I'll show you here the box there that's how big it is huge massive undertaking so that's what I'm starting this week okay and I uh, will um, when I, I'll, I'll show you as I'm going along and I'll tell you where I got it from until then have a great evening bye